Testimony in the Leon Davis trial turned graphic today. Davis is accused of murdering two women, and one of them was pregnant. Our John Thomas has been following this trial and joins us live in Bartow with the details. And John, I imagine it was hard to listen to at times today. Oh, I, Wendy, absolutely right. When you were sitting in there, at times it was really unsettling, uh, really disturbing, like you said, extremely graphic. It was so graphic at times, Wendy, we can't even put some of the testimony into the story that we're going to show you now. Uh, but a witness took the stand. She was there that day, and she told the court everything that she saw. Pop, 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 so we dropped. Fran Murray, a witness to some of the horrifying events of December 13th of 2007, spoke of another witness, Brandon Greisman, being shot. But most disturbing... Her clothes were burnt to her body. They were melted. ...was Fran's description of 26-year-old Yvonne Bustamante struggling to get out of the Lake Wales Insurance Company where she and 23-year-old Juanita Luciano were bound with duct tape, doused with gas, and then set on fire. She was... Um, she was screaming. She was hot. Her skirt was black nylon, and it had melted to her. Her shirt was gone. Her hair was burnt. Fran told the court she went to help Brandon and then went straight to Yvonne. She said that she didn't understand how anybody would rob her. She didn't have any money, and that her kids, please pray. I'm not going to make this, Fran. Yvonne and Juanita and Juanita's premature child delivered right after the trauma of those horrifying events, all three would die. You know, there are two family members sitting in that courtroom. I can't imagine what they're going through having to listen to this. And this is their third time that they have to go through this. Testimony continues, and this trial continues tomorrow. In Bartow, John Thomas, ABC Action News.